nothing to have to worry about with uh, Steph Curry played a lot of games here. So with Golden State knocked down several pegs from where they were, no longer the super team, uh, it's got to be wide open. Do you know LeBron's going to come back with Anthony Davis? If they, even if they don't get Kawhi, I, I would figure you would think LeBron will be reinvigorated with this team. Now, can he stay healthy? That's now a big question. Never had to ask that question before. Right. Now you have to ask that question. Then you look at teams like Utah, which did, has done a great job. Utah was always a team that offensively in the playoffs, regular season, at times they struggled. They just didn't have enough scores, didn't have enough offensive-minded players. They got Mike Conley Jr., they got Bogdanovich out of Indiana. That helps them considerably. Um, I don't know what the Clippers are going to do. If they don't get Kawhi, it's like they, you know, they've missed out on a lot of guys. So they're going to have problems. And, you know, Houston's very interesting because Houston was supposed to get Jimmy Butler. We thought at one point uh, they've got the same team. It looks like it looks like they've been trying to drive Mike D'Antoni into retirement or get him to quit. And it looks like they've got a problem with Chris Paul and James Harden. But now it's, you know, July. It's not the start of the season. So it seems to me they'll try to bring those guys back. It's going to be hard to trade Chris Paul. They're not going to trade Harden and make everything work with the team they've had. Uh, but uh, the West is really, really wide open. Don't forget about Denver. Don't forget about Portland. I mean, there might be 13 or 14 quality teams. Even the Pelicans are going make a rush, a push for eighth place this year in the first year of the uh, era of Zion Williams. Yeah, we better pay attention to them in the future, too, because they're not going away anytime soon, the way things uh, have uh, turned around for them and the picks that they acquired. Hey, good conversation as always. Have a great holiday weekend. Thanks for giving us a few minutes, Mitch. Chris, anytime. Thank you. All right, appreciate it. Mitch Lawrence. Serious XM NBA, and of course, uh, Sporting News, and he, you know, he, he does that thing. Dialed in, as they say. Dialed in. Your phone calls, more basketball talk coming up as the uh, night progresses, and we chill a little bit as we get the holiday weekend right around the corner. Chris Moore for Bill Ryder. You're listening to CBS Sports Radio. At Fidelity, we believe nothing should come between you and your money. So we're introducing zero account fees with zero minimums to open an account. All because we want you to invest with zero trade-offs. Visit fidelity.com slash value to learn more.